This is one of the most impressive exteriors that we've been able to feature. It also has a beautiful main floor, dramatic two-story ceilings, and even a spiral staircase. This is the Roosevelt by Bickemer Homes. It's located in Century Farms, Blue Valley School District, Overland Park. It comes in at four beds, four and a half baths, 4,300 square feet, a big house. 900 of that is in the finished basement. It's almost on a third of an acre lot. Now, Jordan, one thing we talked about before we started filming, look at all the windows. A ton of windows, and you've got the garage windows that are already glazed over. The glass panel garage doors. Yeah. That's quite the look, huh? Yeah, so a very modern look, and I'm not huge on the modern look. I like more traditional, but I like this one, Nick. They pulled this off very well. Yeah, I think yeah. it's awesome. So you've got the stone, which I think adds a nice kind of contemporary modern style material. Light fixtures do too. You've How got about the this stucco? That's right. And the stucco, you'll see it inside. So just a little foreshadowing. You've got that beam going across the front of the garage, the top of the garage there. And then right here, you've got additional landscaping. So You'll see it here in a second. This entry is one of the best entries I've seen. They do it really well, but it makes the whole entry very private. The other thing it does is it creates anticipation as you come this way, right? Guests are coming over. They see the beautiful exterior coming this way and you see the grand entry here, beautiful French doors. And we'll show you the inside here in just a second. Nick, one thing that I was noticing here as we were walking up to these French doors is, is how high they wrap that beam with that uh, stone or rock. I just think it looks looks really cool. It's real different compared to just three or four foot high. Uh, yeah, really absolutely. Cool Creates a lot of volume for those French doors. But uh, before we go inside, we'll give you the price. We'll kind of break that down at the end. There's a lot of details, a lot of high-end finishes. We're also going to break down three things that this floor plan does very, very well, especially on the main floor. And if we haven't met yet, my name's Nick. I'm Jordan. And we help people buy and build new homes all across Kansas City. We'll put the floor plan on the screen right here. Big thank you to Bickamer Homes for letting us tour. Also, the on-site agents, Rochelle and Rob. All right, Jordan, come on in. Let's get a shot of the main floor, this main floor. Right, I'm going to show a little bit, but not too much yet. Not too much. Not too much. Now, so we turn back towards the entry. There's a lot to unpack here. It, it might not look like it. We're going to unpack it. It'll make a lot of sense. This is one thing. Jordan and I have a couple of disagreements about the floor plan. We like different things. Everybody does, but we'll hash those out here in a second. One thing I thought when I first walked into this plan, I thought, you know, this is a lot of square footage, right, Jordan? Oh, yeah. We got a lot of size. Nice and right wide. Here. You got the. French doors? Well, I was thinking when I first walked in, like, do you want to dedicate this amount of square footage just to the entry? I think yes. Initially, I was thinking no, but here's why. You've got the French doors. This space creates a lot of focus on those beautiful French doors, the windows. You've got kind of the transom window up top, light fixture there, two-story ceilings. But here's what I think they did the best with this entry is Jordan and I, we're gonna switch spots. I'm gonna have him come right here. We'll start right at the door here. Well, I think I know where you're going with this. You know exactly where I'm going. So when you have an entry like this, a grand entry into the home, dramatic ceilings, you want anticipation. When you have your guests over, you want to give them just a little taste of it and you want a big reveal. And as you come this way, beautiful, main floor there's a ton to unpack here and we're going to go through all of it so what i told you we're going to i'm going to highlight three things i think this plan does very very well one is that this is one of the only plans that i've seen that has true spiral staircase we'll show you a, a shot looking up from the second floor down this is a pretty big focal point in this plan that's just one thing that you see as you come in the entry. The second thing that you see, Jordan. Well, you've got these beautiful tall ceilings, right? Box vaulted ceiling as well, recessed lights, those huge beams, and then, and then the of windows. Course, what I right really in. love about this, you've got the wall of windows. They upgraded, they spent the money for the black windows, which are more expensive. I love 
like picture this picture like a truly treed lot in the back you're backing up to green space or maybe you're cliffside looking over the hills that we have a ton of here in kansas city what i love about this is it frames in the view if you have this on a lot that has a beautiful view this deck frames it all in and the icing on top of the cake here those windows up top now we've discussed this on the channel i like to see a huge wall of windows that goes all the way up to the ceiling this works and i think it works really well you don't need blinds on that top row you've got that covered porch that's right blocking all that sun so anyway that's my big spiel about the the reveal i think they pulled it off really really well great for entertaining makes a statement for when guests come over but love the two the floor to ceiling fireplace you do have stone right here and just the the face of that fireplace alone is huge and then <laughs> what did I, we just notice that's right that? i didn't notice this the first time you've got a herringbone kind of stone or brick i can't tell but they spend the money it takes a little bit extra labor to do that just another detail and that's what this house is about you've got a lot of details now if you were to build it i have seen them build put built-ins on either side of the fireplace so that would be an option if you were to build it. This one, of course, is already sold. We're showing it to you just to give you an example of this plan, what it would look like, what it would feel like. They're building, I think, four others right now just in this community in Century Farms, probably around eight or nine all around Kansas City. But as we turn our focus, again, a lot to unpack with this one. First thing that I want you to notice is the reeded or fluted trim work on that island. I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two, but adds a lot of texture. A lot of detail. Now, they've also done that on the cabinet drawers off to your right. Beautiful built-ins. You've got the archways and the doors, glass, big four drawers. And that's one thing about this plan. Again, the details, you've got the archways several places throughout the house. What I like, in addition to that, you've got the stacked microwave oven. These are the Cafe Series, so upgraded appliances. I'm a big fan. I know what you're about to point out. You've got the stucco recessed hood with counter space. You've got six burners, a griddle. And that's just one big backsplash slab back there, too. That's right. That's quartz backsplash or quartzite, one of the two. <laughs> And you have the faucet the, over the, the pot filler. I like the stucco. I think it's a great look in here. It's not something that we see inside a whole lot. You do have the shelving here as well. And that's a six burner with a griddle? Yes. Is that right? Huge. Yeah. Isn't that impressive? It is. So they even upgraded the dishwasher in this one. Beautiful slab on the island. And we'll, we'll get back to everything behind Jordan in a second. You've got the perfect dining area. I love the black windows, the black sliders. You've got two of them, one on your left, one on your right. This one's oversized. So Nick, they have that set up with, you know, a little round table, four chairs, but that space right there is big enough to where you could definitely fit a rectangular Absolutely. table. Absolutely, yeah. Probably uh, long ways in there, right? This is a really nice size compared to a lot of homes that we walk through where it's kind of an afterthought. This is clearly um, well-intentioned. We will take a look at the deck here in a second, but I'm going to show you another way to get there. Let's uh, turn our focus right here. Now, I'm just going to throw, Jordan and I, we have named this part of the floor plan. <laughs> if you build it, you might name it something else, but here we've got two pantries. This happens to be the dog pantry. If you're a dog lover, I love what they did. In here. Yeah, let us, let us know what you guys think in the comments, you know, would you put your dog bowls down here? What would you do with it? I love it. You got the vertical ship lap going on. Love the built-in right there. Great way to use the space. But uh, we'll come back through there here in a second. One of the second thing that I think they did really well, I know I've been talking about a lot. Second thing I think this plan does very, very well, aside from the finishes, is you've got quite a bit of space tucked behind the kitchen so totally separate from the main living spaces so let's get a shot right here you've got the breakfast bar the casement window the beautiful light fixture up top. ton of character jordan huge hall tree there too the what the, the boot bench oh the boot bench yeah 
Yeah, I thought you said tree. Yeah, the hall tree. Hall tree. That's yeah. Some people refer to it as well, a hall tree. Well, it is tree. green. It's got the color, right? <laughs> yeah, that I love is a the, beautiful built-in. I like it. Love the cubby. So this, so so this that's is your the garage door there. Correct. So garage entry, and then where we just were the what we're calling the dog pantry. If you swing around here, Jordan, you do have the powder room, so bathroom for guests, anybody coming over, and then of course the the pantry area we showed you is on the other side. Now this is just part of the garage entry. We're entering the pantry again. All of this is tucked behind the kitchen. You'd almost never know it exists unless you come back here. Yeah. So if you like entertaining, I would call this, I'd call this an entertainment house. You like to cook. I mean, you're going to see it in a second. Nick's, Nick's getting ready to get there. That's right. That's right. Another archway, which I think is great. You've got additional storage area. Not like the boring white pantry shelves we see all over. They've done the kind of moody green color. You got a ton of cabinet space. These are all of these racks they pull out, which is nice. And then coming this way, you got a beautiful slab right here, additional sink. It looks out to the yard. And of course, you got some vertical shiplap again in the uh, kind of like the backboard of the house. Now, the other nice thing, you've got the spice rack over here. And all of this is right behind the kitchen and dining room. That's right. And of course, I know a lot of you got to have the second fridge that's the spot for it it's already built in for you and i told you we were going to take a look at the deck this is the grill deck area so the reason this matters is because you have three different entrances to the outdoor living here so you've i'd like to get a shot right here jordan just looking straight through the right. to the garage door straight line of sight here hallway tucked behind the kitchen this is formally on the plan this would be your grill deck area so you've got the grill over here separate from where you might be entertaining which they poured extra patio right here concrete's not cheap i love that they did this this is one of the best setups i've seen for for a, a patio yeah you can put your table your chairs whatever you want back here it's totally private neighbors on each side they're not going to see you. Composite decking. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to stain it, anything like that. What I love about this is that the house is built around it. So it's completely private. You could build this on a really busy street. You'd never see your neighbors from right here. Check out that fan, Nick. How many blades are on that? I don't want to count. You don't want to count them? <laughs> Maybe we'll turn it on and then we can count. All right. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But uh, again, I just imagine, you know, treed lot in the back looking onto that i think this would be the perfect setup for it and that's why i'd say this is probably one of my favorite main floors that i've seen quite a long time but let's come uh let's come back into the house and we'll do the private spaces on the main floor so coming this way Again, you're going to see everything that we've covered. You got the spiral staircase. The two things that we didn't touch on, you've got the master, of course, the archway, and then you've got bedroom one, guest bedroom, or maybe even a closet. You do have the coat closet for the entry tucked in right here. You'd almost never know it exists because that front entry is nice and clean. Coming in this way, we've got quite the moody color here. Super tall ceilings in this room too, Nick. Very tall ceilings. Now, again, the black windows, excellent touch. They cost quite a bit more. They have to be made differently because the black material, it, it fades a little bit differently with sunlight. So it costs more to do this. I love to see it. You've also got the casement window right there, closet in the corner, and then a full bath right inside. Quartz countertops, white oak vanity. How about the uh, the faucet there, Jordan? Oh, that is cool, man. It's got some gears on it. I like that. I'm and of a course, bit of a gearhead. Tiled shower with a bench in there. Now for the master bedroom, you're gonna notice some shapes that are not square even. Jordan really likes that, right? I think it's pretty cool. It just it gives it a different feel, right? You're yeah. not you're not just turning. 90 degrees every time. A little... The reason I bring that up is this is because you've got that dramatic entry. Maybe we should show that real quick. Because you've got that dramatic entry and the spiral staircase, 
We've got some angles in here. I just want to prepare you for that. You do have the laundry room right in here. I like that you have a sink countertop space. That's a big value add. Plenty big too for just two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And then the other nice thing about some of the shapes is that coming in here, you have a formal hallway into the master. So it makes it a little bit more private. What I love is a sitting area. Those windows, again, I'm going to talk a lot about those. It creates a beautiful sitting area. Double box vault, huh? Double box vault gives it that bigger feel. That's right. And that is a cool little light fixture, isn't it? Now, double doors right here. So French door entry to the bathroom. Coming in this way, we've got the shower to your left. Tile floor to ceiling, you got the rain head, beautiful glass, and then you got a sitting area. And double vanity, you've got those cool, pretty neat sinks. And then the reeded or fluted, I can't figure it out, one of the two. You got the nice texture on the cabinets. Water closet is in the corner. And coming, floating vanity, did you say that? Floating vanity. Yeah. It probably has some down lighting somewhere. Here, come this way, Jordan. And we've got, I warned you, you've got geometric shape in the, in the closet. It's not totally square like you might be used to seeing, but you do have a lot of storage. You've got the pull down racks. Yeah, plenty of hanger space in here, plenty of shelves right behind Nick. Now, one thing that's important to add is that that laundry room is not connected to the closet. I've seen them do it before. I'll put footage on the screen of what that looks like. It's kind of like a little cubby that you can slide a laundry basket under from the closet into the laundry room. And if we come this way, again, this is something that I've just seen them do on another home. It would be right here up against this wall. So you slide the basket through, and you've got your laundry right there in the laundry room. But we are going to switch spots. I'm going to have Jordan show us the upstairs. And uh, this is really our first use of that spiral yeah. staircase. So beautiful spiral. You've got the uh, wood trim, nice round spindles, beautiful stain oak that kind of goes throughout the house. You've seen on the cabinets and the beams. Now here, I'm going to get a shot of this. This is pretty neat. You don't see that every day. All the way down to the basement. But uh, before I run into anything, I'm gonna back up a little bit. So Jordan, yeah, they... you've got this, this curve here, catwalk that you see from the entry. You know, you've got kind of this balcony area on the catwalk overlook. I mean, this beautiful space down below. And then behind Nick, you've got the uh, loft and a huge, that's a huge storage That's really closet. deep, yeah. Here we'll trade places real quick. All right, I'm yes. gonna get you. I'm gonna get you a shot of the entry. What you'll notice on the elevation, I'll put a drone clip on the screen. The amount of windows is <laughs> impressive. And then I do want to show you right back here. Really gets you a different perspective on the house. Now, Jordan, I know they're building like four of these just in this community alone. This one's already sold, but they can build it for you. There is another version of this plan. It's a little bit bigger, but this one we've got two bedrooms up. Yep. We have two bedrooms up. So they do a Roosevelt expanded. It gives you a third bedroom up here. Uh, two of those bedrooms, instead of having private baths, two of them would share a Jack and Jill. The third would be an ensuite. Now, does the expanded take away some of your... No, it does height not. in the ceiling mm -mm. or in the living room? I don't think so. Okay. Well, so you have this loft, right? Really good size, couch, TV, however you want to set it up, you know, play area for the kids. Got these nice three little picture windows and you can see it from the outside, but they have these little louvered shades. Um, really modern, really cool looking. You've got recessed lights, plus you have a little chandelier that's pretty cool little design pretty too. Neat. It's a nice little loft area. It is. So off the loft, come into a little hallway where you have another big storage closet. Very important. Yeah. Cannot Very have important. enough storage space. And this is a big laundry room, Nick. Um, really nice tile floor. 
Uh, nice little light fixture there. Shelf with a hanger. Man, now, you... if you're wondering, there is attic access right there. So that's what you're seeing. But you do have a drain in the floor. Pretty convenient. You don't have to haul laundry up and down. Right. A uh, little counter space and, and uh, cabinet. Not that, uh, you know, using this staircase would be much of a chore. It's, <laughs> it's right. pretty neat. So this would be bedroom number one upstairs. That's what we'll call it. You've got, you know, black windows, casement windows, and then, yeah, middle one's solid. And then two little picture windows up there just to bring in more daylight, you know, and, you know, they're up high. Real private, nobody's gonna see in. Pretty pretty good size up here. Um, you do have a light fixture in the middle. It is wired for a fan. Right now you're only seeing the light. There is just one other recessed light there. I'm a big fan of recessed lights. I like to see like four in each corner of each bedroom. But uh, Got a, uh, right here in the closet. Pretty good size walk-in. Nice. Two hanger spaces, lots of shelves. And another little window, bringing that natural light. And then I'll get out of your way so you can see that bathroom. Quartz countertop on that vanity. And then you've got the subway tile floor to, or all the way up to the ceiling with the tub there. We've got one other bedroom up here. Yeah, so I don't know if you've seen it yet. Did you talk about it? But this little nook built in the wall, that's really cool. You've got shelves uh, on one side, the ship lap, really cool light fixture. And then just a nice little place to sit. And then you have this step up here to bedroom number two. Lots of closets up here. Another hall closet. Really good size. Got more attic excess there. Now this room is a little bigger than that other one. It's got two little picture windows. You've got your basement windows, three of them. Well, two basement, and then one picture in the middle. Oh, that is pretty neat. And then we turn around, very similar finishes in this bathroom compared to the first. Now we are almost done. Before we get to the pricing, which will be at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the finished basement so you can see kind of what that would look like. Before we do that, big thank you to Bakermore Homes. The details in here, the floor plan, very popular. We're building a ton of these around Kansas City. And <laughs> I absolutely get it. Also a big thank you to the on-site agents, Rochelle, and Rob, thank you for letting us show. The, their information is listed down in the description. If you have any questions, this is just one of the several plans that we've toured. I'd invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see all kinds of property tours, new home communities around Kansas City. Of course, we'd, we'd love to help you leverage all of the expertise, everything that we see and learn about these properties on your own home search or building your own home. So feel free to send us a text message, email, or give us a phone call and we'd love to set you up for success, save a whole lot of time and really a whole lot of money in the process. So again, we'll get to pricing in a second, but I'm gonna take a look downstairs. Now, this basement finish is different than the one that you'll see on the floor plan. I'll put it on the screen right now. They typically allow for an additional bedroom down here. We don't have that in this finished version. Instead, we've got a beautiful downstairs entertainment area. I love the kind of acoustic slacks that you got on either side of the TV. You do have the built-in media console, which I think looks great. We've got luxury vinyl planking. Very nice material. I, I can feel the texture. You can feel the kind of wood grain it, there. Yeah, it feels like hardwoods to me. Absolutely. And uh, coming this way, a little dining area, which is perfect, is you've got the wet bar. Now, Jordan and I went back and forth. We walked through this yesterday. I'll have to look. I'll see if I can find the answer. I can't tell if this is quartz or quartzite. I'd put my bet on quartz just because it's more common to see than quartzite. And then you've got kind of the textured backsplash. Is that, is that tile? Yeah, is very, that... it is tile. It's got some vertical texture going on. And coming this way, again, you've got quite a bit of space here. I like that they made use of pretty much everything here. Great staging right there. You've got the bench here. This is, I believe, just a closet under the stairs. A little storage space under the, under the stairs. And then I do believe this is the unfinished 
storage it is which is pretty sizable for a plan like this where they have finished the basement so if you do buy a home like this it's common to see builders leave some of the extra materials for you which is very convenient and nice if you've ever seen this this is the electronics a lot of builders will have a company like naturally wired or somebody come out and set all this up i believe this is your ethernet and all of that let's come this way and making use of all the space yeah the reshelves here perfect little cutout and then the utility room you thought that was a lot of storage space ton of storage in here and jordan you know what i like about this one it's the ceilings. Yep. They drywalled the ceilings for you. Out of the ceilings. Oh, yeah, already drywalled in here. So perfect gym area, if you don't mind it being in an unfinished air space of the home. But yeah, in reality, I mean, if you wanted to, you could finish this space out. I mean, you could put another uh, egress window in. Absolutely. Take advantage of all the space. One last part of the basement. I walked right past it, Jordan. I, yep. I, <laughs> yeah, I was about to yell at you. But I, I didn't want to cramp your style. Yeah, so you've got the uh, stand-up shower, sliding glass window, dark tile, all the way to the ceiling with the dark fixtures. I can't tell. That's a floating vanity, Nick. Yep, it is. So now for the price this is in century farms blue valley school district this community the homes are flying off the shelves i got a couple clients looking here to build or buy one of the homes under construction they're they're selling like crazy this one is sold but they're building several of them right now this one was four beds four and a half baths 4300 square feet about 900 of those square feet are actually in the basement it's on nearly a third of an acre lot and this one comes in at 1.302440. Now, if you've watched until this point in the video, let us know if you were to build this home, would you do the dog pantry that Jordan and I have kind of called this? What would you use that space for? Leave a comment down below. We'll be excited to read all of those. Before you go, any questions buying, building a new home in Kansas City? This is what we do. We love to do it. We love to save you a whole lot of time and money. So go ahead. Give us a call, text, email anytime before you go. Make sure to click right here. It's another property that we've toured right here in Century Farms. Absolutely beautiful. And then right here, we've got a full playlist of all of our property tours, new home community videos. So click either here or here. See you on the other side.